A ever wonder where the thunderous riffs and powerful vocals of metal music originated? The roots of metal music can be traced back to the late 1960s, a time of cultural revolution and musical experimentation. It was during this era that bands like Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, and most notably, Black Sabbath emerged. These bands with their unique sound and style paved the way for a new genre of music that would soon take the world by storm. Black Sabbath in particular is often hailed as the progenitor of metal music. The band's self-titled debut album in 1970 was a game changer. It was an oral assault of heavy, distorted guitar riffs coupled with dark lyrical themes and powerful vocals. This was music that had a raw, visceral energy that hadn't been seen or heard before. It was music that dared to be different. Led Zeppelin, on the other hand, blended elements of blues, rock, and folk music to create a sound that was uniquely their own. Their music was heavy yet melodic, featuring complex arrangements and virtuosic performances that would become a hallmark of metal music. Deep Purple, with their blend of hard rock and progressive music, also played a pivotal role in the birth of metal. These early metal bands were trailblazers, pushing the boundaries of what was musically possible. They were not afraid to experiment, to explore new sounds and ideas. They were not just musicians. They were pioneers, setting the stage for a musical revolution. Their music, characterized by its heavy, distorted guitar riffs, dark lyrical themes, and powerful vocals, was unlike anything that had come before. It was loud, it was aggressive, it was unapologetic. It was metal. So, it was these bands that laid down the first stepping stones towards the creation of the genre we now know as metal. Now, how did metal music evolve from its roots? Let's dive into the 1970s, a decade of growth and diversification for metal music. As the genre expanded, a few bands emerged as torchbearers, each infusing the scene with their unique sound and style. Among these were the likes of Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, and Motorhead. Judas Priest, with their leather and studs image, personified the heavy metal ethos. Their albums, notably Sad Wings of Destiny and British Steel, introduced a new level of speed and aggression to the genre. The band's thunderous riffs and Rob Halford's soaring vocals helped set the stage for the thrash metal movement that would later explode in the 1980s. Iron Maiden, on the other hand, took a different approach. Their complex, multi-part compositions were often based on literature, history, and mythology. Their elaborate stage shows, complete with their iconic mascot, Eddie, became a hallmark of their performances. The band's influence was immense, inspiring countless bands to follow in their footsteps. Then there was Motorhead. Led by the charismatic Lemmy Kilmister, Motorhead was raw, fast, and loud. They embodied the spirit of rock and roll, but with a heavier, grittier sound. Their music was a perfect storm of aggression and melody, a blend that would later be influential in the development of speed metal and punk. These bands and others like them were instrumental in shaping the direction of metal music. They took the foundations laid by the likes of Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and built upon them, pushing the genre into new territories. Each band brought something unique to the table, whether it be Judas Priest's speed and aggression, Iron Maiden's epic narratives, or Motorhead's raw energy. This was just the beginning of the story. What happens when creativity and innovation surge within a music genre? This question brings us to the 1980s, a decade that stands out as the golden age of metal. This era was defined by a powerful wave of creativity that pushed the boundaries of the genre and propelled it to new heights. Thrash metal, a subgenre characterized by its speed and aggression, took center stage during this time. Leading the charge were bands like Metallica, Slayer, and Megadeth. Metallica, with their aggressive riffs and lyrical depth, quickly rose to prominence, becoming one of the most influential bands in the genre. Slayer, 
known for their fast and aggressive music, took the intensity of thrash metal to a whole new level. Megadeth, on the other hand, brought a level of technicality and complexity that was hitherto unseen. But the 1980s was not just about thrash metal. This decade also saw the rise of several other subgenres. Glam metal, with its flashy aesthetic and catchy hooks, brought a touch of glitz and glamour to the metal scene. Bands like Metley Crew and Poison became the poster children of this movement, their music videos playing in heavy rotation on MTV. Meanwhile, death metal and black metal began to carve out their own niche within the genre. Death metal, with its guttural vocals and complex song structures, was a far cry from the melodic sounds of glam metal. Bands like Death and Morbid Angel pushed the envelope with their extreme sound. Black metal, originating from the cold and dark landscapes of Norway, brought a new level of intensity and atmosphere to the genre. Bands like Mayhem and Burzum, with their raw and lo-fi production, created a sound that was as chilling as it was captivating. The 1980s truly marked a time of explosive creativity and diversity in the world of metal music. This decade not only saw the genre reach new heights of popularity, but it also set the stage for the myriad of subgenres and movements that would follow. It was a time when metal music was not just evolving, but exploding in a thousand different directions, each one as fascinating and unique as the last. Can a genre of music stand strong in the face of adversity? The 90s posed this question to the metal community as it grappled with challenges from the rise of grunge and alternative rock. The raw, emotional, and stripped-down sound of these genres was a stark contrast to the intricate compositions and theatricality of metal, threatening to overshadow the genre that had dominated the music scene for two decades but metal was not ready to be silenced. Instead, it responded with resilience and adaptability, finding ways to evolve and breathe new life into the genre. Enter bands like Pantera, Sepultura, and Tool, each standing as a beacon of metal's resilience in these trying times. Pantera, with their potent blend of heavy metal and groove, brought a raw and unapologetic sound that resonated with fans. Their album, Vulgar Display of Power, was a defiant response to the changing music landscape, proving that metal could still pack a punch. Meanwhile, Sepultura from Brazil brought a unique flavor to the metal scene, infusing their music with elements of their cultural heritage. Their album, Roots, was a groundbreaking fusion of metal and Brazilian tribal music, proving that the genre could adapt and incorporate diverse influences. And then there was Tool, an enigmatic band that pushed the boundaries of what metal could be. Their complex, progressive compositions and thought-provoking lyrics brought an intellectual edge to the genre, attracting a new wave of fans who were drawn to their unique blend of artistry and aggression. Each of these bands, in their own way, infused new energy into the genre, reminding the world that metal was far from a dying art form. They showed that metal could adapt, evolve, and still remain true to its roots, even in the face of adversity. Despite the challenges, the metal genre proved resilient, adapting, and evolving to maintain its place in the music world. The 90s may have been a challenging time for metal, but it was also a period of innovation and resilience, setting the stage for the genre's continued evolution in the decades to come. How has metal music transformed in the 21st century? This question invites us into a thrilling exploration of the modern era of metal music. A fascinating time when metal music once again proved its unyielding resilience and capacity for innovation. The dawn of the 21st century witnessed the emergence of new metal, a subgenre that creatively fused elements of metal, hip hop, and electronic music. New metal bands such as Slipknot, Korn, and System of a Down, with their distinctive sound and raw emotional lyrics, reached out to a new generation of listeners. They bridged the divide between the aggressive world of metal and the mainstream audience 
bringing our beloved genre to the forefront of popular music. Simultaneously, a different breed of metal was taking shape, one that pushed the boundaries of musical complexity. This was the birth of progressive metal, a subgenre that wove intricate melodies, offbeat rhythms, and a wide range of influences into a rich tapestry of sound. Bands like Opeth, Dream Theater, and Mastodon led this movement, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. Their music, marked by technical virtuosity and creative experimentation, showcased the depth and diversity of metal music. So, in the early 2000s, while new metal bands were captivating mainstream listeners with their catchy hooks and raw energy, progressive metal bands were challenging traditional musical norms, crafting complex compositions that demanded the listener's attention and engagement. Two different paths, yet both were integral to the evolution and expansion of metal music in the 21st century. In this era, metal music has proven its ability to adapt and evolve, to push the boundaries of what is musically possible, and to resonate with a diverse range of listeners. It has shown that it is not just a genre of music, but a powerful form of expression, a community, and a way of life. It continues to evolve, to innovate, and to captivate audiences around the world. Where is the genre heading now in the postmodern era? The answer lies in the music of bands like Meshuga, Viljarta, and Animals as Leaders. Meshuga, a Swedish extreme metal band, has been instrumental in shaping the postmodern metal scene. Known for their complex polymetric song structures and innovative use of eight-string guitars, they've taken the concept of groove to a whole new level. They've deconstructed and redefined the idea of rhythm, creating a sound that's as challenging as it is captivating. This subgenre is characterized by its heavy use of down-tuned extended range guitars and its focus on atmosphere over traditional song structure. The result is a sound that's heavy, dense, and deeply atmospheric, a sound that seems to exist in a world of its own. And let's not forget animals as leaders. This instrumental progressive metal band has been at the forefront of the genre's technical evolution. With their intricate guitar work, complex time signatures, and exploratory song structures, they've proven that metal can be as intellectually engaging as it is emotionally powerful. Their music is a testament to the genre's capacity for innovation and evolution. These bands and others like them are taking metal in directions that its pioneers could never have imagined. They're pushing the genre's boundaries, experimenting with new sounds and ideas, and challenging our understanding of what metal can be. They're not just playing music, they're creating sonic landscapes, exploring the outer reaches of musical possibility. The postmodern era of metal music is not just about technical prowess or experimental soundscapes, though. It's about the continued evolution of a genre that refuses to be pinned down, a genre that's constantly redefining itself, always looking ahead to what's next. It's about the spirit of exploration and experimentation that's at the heart of all great music. The postmodern era of metal music sees the genre continue to evolve, experiment, and redefine its boundaries. This is not just a phase, it's the future of metal. And that future looks brighter than ever. So what's the enduring impact of metal music on popular culture, you might ask? Well, from its humble beginnings in the late 1960s to its status as a global phenomenon today, the influence of metal music can be heard in countless bands across a multitude of genres. Its impact on society, from fashion and art to language and attitudes cannot be overstated. From its roots to the present day, the evolution of metal music is a testament to the genre's enduring influence and adaptability.